So, Guildmaster, do we have an assignment? Well, before we send you on your first quest, we need to test your heroicness. Oh, this isn't going to go well at all. All right, we'll start with an easy one. Let's say you come across a small child who has lost their parents. What do you do? Well, I'd pull out my sword and then... Wait, wait, wait. Why would you brandish your weapon to a small, defenseless, and lost and lonely child? Just seems like the right thing to do. I guess you could say my natural inclination is to go into a blood frenzy and kill everything in sight. It's worked well for me in the past, at least. Right? I think we're about to get kicked out of this huggy, touchy-feely guild! Lucky move, Reynaldo, for that child was in fact a 12-foot-tall, 8.5-ton turquoise dragon using a clever disguise. How did you figure it out so quickly? He didn't figure anything out. He was just going to attack the kid for no reason. But, as it turns out, Ray is so damn lucky that everything he does works out fine in the end. It's kind of irritating, actually. Well, we'll have to do some more work then. We can't have you relying solely on luck, you know. I think you're gonna wind up disappointed. Right, Harry? Ha ha ha! Yes! Flip the switch on my magic technology machine! Sure thing, boss! Yes. Yes. Yes! It is working! There will be eternal nighttime now and forever! That's amazing, boss! How'd you do it? I did it with magic! And technology. Now, I'm putting you in charge while I'm out. I have to go see what those idiot heroes think about what I've done. No problem, boss. No one gets in, no one gets out, and no one gets, uh... Uh... Ah, oh, dang it. Harry, you haven't forgotten one of the three prime directives, have you? No one gets in... No one gets out, and no one gets... No one gets the access codes that activate my unstoppable doomsday device? Is that what you were thinking of? Yeah, that's it! No, it isn't! I'm not so trite as to build an unstoppable doomsday device, you moron! Those never work out as planned. I mean, have you even watched Star Wars? Then what's the third thing I'm supposed to do? Uh... No, it's no one gets ice cream until they've eaten all their veggies. But if you're going to forget one of the three prime directives, I'd rather it be the veggie one, because it's not all that important to the safety of my secret lair anyway. I shall return! <laughs> Holy nutsack, it's dark as balls outside, and it's only noon 30. Indeed, it is very strange. Is there a full solar eclipse occurring today? Think again, stupid heroes. It will always be this dark forever, for I, the evil doctor of supreme evil, have blocked out the sun's rays with the mystifying magic of technology. Oh, that sucks. What an evil scheme! That's right, I'm as evil as they come. And before long, you'll understand why I'm making this your problem specifically. Why are you being so cryptic? Out with it quickly, who are you? Wouldn't you like to know, fast man? He knows our names! Oh, I know everything about you. And we know nothing about you. In time, that will certainly change. In the meantime, however, see if you can even find me in this eternal nighttime that I created with magic and technology. Yes, and we'll put an end to this darkness. After all, we're heroes. Wait, what do you mean luckily we're heroes? Looks like Intelligent Man is about to start one of his quest-completing hero kicks again. Uh, I just hope there's ladies on the way to victory. Come on, you guys. These people's lives are being slightly inconvenienced. Oh, da I just stubbed my toe. How slightly inconvenient. See? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna chop off this evil doctor's face apart. Yes, let's get it over with. I hate these long quests and the darkness reigns supreme over my incredible speed. Fast man's right. Aw, oh, damn it. Why does the villain always have to have the upper hand with these things? 
Especially in the beginning! It's true. This hellish nighttime nightmare of darkness will have adverse effects on our own powers. Except for Sensitive Man, of course. His powers are far greater when the lights are low. Yeah, get a little Barry White on the record player, and it's on. Barry White? Barry White? What the hell? That music is so, so s slow! Dude, it's a surefire panty dropper. Trust me. Either way, we are not leaving this to Sensitive Man. Remember when we fought that skeleton bone lord in that dark cave where our powers didn't really work that well? It was a total failure! Yep, and what was Sensitive Man doing the entire time? Practicing his recitations of love poetry, if I remember correctly, which I always do. Practicing his recitations of love poetry, cause, you know, that's helpful when fighting against a skeleton bone lord. But at least he wasn't running around, tripping over piles of bones like a, uh, uh... Speed tard? Yeah, that's it! A speed tard! That old lady will never be the same. Because she exploded! Hey, 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 I wouldn't have collided with her at top speed if you hadn't punched her damn lights out. You were punching thin air shouting, I challenge thee to a bout of fisticuffs or whatever. Well, how am I supposed to aim my fist in the dark fast, man? Answer me that! Probably the same way I'm supposed to avoid an unconscious old lady while going top speed. In the dark, you nutsack. And I was having a hard time reading my books without ample artificial light sources, too. Uh, intelligent man? That's not quite the same kind of handicap you have there. What? It's completely crippling! Yeah, but... It's not like you could accidentally kill innocent people by not being able to read as quickly as you normally can, intelligent man. Come to think of it, you're about as helpful in battle as sensitive man is. I mean, you can't know something to death, you know? Guys, come on, that's in the past. We need to focus on how we're going to bring light back to this fair land. Plus, I'm super important and I don't appreciate you guys coming down on me like that. I've got it. I could seduce this doctor into revealing her sultry secrets. That doctor was most obviously a man, sensitive man. Damn. Well, I'm out of ideas. We need to gather more information first. I will squeeze vital information from this doctor's lowly minions with my mace of extreme justice. Calm down, big guy. We'll find you some action. Find me some action, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we all know what you're saying. But we'd better get some rest, we have a lot to do tomorrow. Yeah, but it's like, only 3 in the afternoon and I'm not even tired, not even a little bit. It might be 3 in the afternoon, but it's still night time. Right, guys? Ha ha ha. Oh, I can just tell this is going to be just the best quest we ever went on.